Okay, welcome to Votability. Uh, my name is Nick, Nick Kinkar. I'm the C-School principal here. I've got uh, Mark in the background who's helping me do the radio. So if you see the radios moving around and things, uh, please bear with him. Um, the, as you can see, the radios are very close together, which in reality, these are going to be miles apart on different vessels. But for demonstration purposes, so you can see how it works, as you can see, where they're quite close together. So what we're going to go through now is just basically how... A, uh, a distress or a mayday situation works okay so essentially you've got a vessel that's on fire now he needs to make a DSC distress call which will be via the distress button so if Mark lifts up on this radio here the distress button I'll hold the radio for you so you just lift it up and then just push and uh, so push it once so now if I scroll through and it should just be one and that should be on fire so now, when he pushes and holds the button, that will take three seconds to send. So now that's uh, gone. So the other radio should now alarm. You can cancel the alarm by either pressing the enter key or just by pressing the microphone. And it could also be the clear button. So all that's done now is cancel the alarm. So what he's done is he just sent out a distress uh, call or distress alert, as it used to be known as, to all vessels that have a VHF DSC radio. Now, clearly, the you'd expect it, you know, that that radio there would have uh, answered the distress, but it can't. The only people that can answer a distress on these types of radios, i.e., Class D controllers, are Coast Guards or ships. So, what will happen now is the Coast Guard will also hear the voice call that you've made up, because what you've got to think of is the guy with the VHF handheld radio clearly didn't hear the distress so by following up with the voice call now he does now that's why it's imperative that the person that doesn't have a vhf dsc radio digital uh, is always on channel 16 which you can also use dual watch as part of that system uh, which we will cover in the course if you decided to do the course which will make it a bit clearer so now what you're waiting for is the coast guard should respond digitally now clearly these guys here have heard the distress come back from the coast guard which if you've never seen one come in you would know it's the coast guard because the mmsi number that comes up on your screen would begin with zero zero okay so the coast guard now then also needs to let the guy know without the who's only got the handheld radio so that's why they follow up with voice so they would respond to the mayday call letting the person in distress that they have got it okay so that's how that works right so the way that you remember how to send a mayday on the call they use an acronym uh, called MIPDANIO so the mayday you say it three times then who you are your details which you repeat okay then they need to know where you are so clearly you need to put the latitude and longitude that's for the Coast Guard purposes but also think about people that maybe don't have uh, GPS or charts on board which they should do is try and give them a bearing or a distance from an object that's well known to your location if you're coastal obviously because then the people near you would also know where you are then what's wrong with you so clearly we've sent it digitally that we're on fire but you also repeat it for those that don't have di digital radio then what assistance you required it might sound obvious but yes we need immediate assistance how many people are on board so persons on board that includes you as the skipper and also any information that might assist them. So for example, if you're getting into a life raft, it would be very important to let them know that you are getting in your life raft because they're now going to be looking for your life raft and not the boat. And then finish off with over because when you finish talking, you want them to come back to you, okay? So now always think about this. Whenever you hear a mayday or receive or, or you reply to a mayday, you always use the pro word um, mayday to the prior to the vessel's name so if I was referring to another vessel who's in in the distress that would be for example mayday renegade I'm talking about her okay so that would be the uh, acronym that you use to send a mayday call that's also on our website under boatability under the general info and links okay under external links so now we have the emergency situation but this time no one has answered it. Now you can see four minutes later, which is exactly that, the radio is just alarmed again. So just press the enter key on this one. Oh, sorry, that one. Yep, yeah, so that's four minutes. 
so it sent it off again so what we understand from here is the the five minute the magic five minute number where it comes from is we need to now follow up with a call so think about the guy who's got the digital radio four minutes his radio is just alarmed that now tells him that nobody has answered this guy digitally so the radio has gone off again so it's now up to us to maybe relay that information on to the Coast Guard likewise it would be also important for the guy with the handheld after five minutes he's waiting for that call to also send it on so to save that radio sending again can you just press clear on the radio for me please Mark thank you so what we would do now that's now a mayday relay situation okay so this guy here he would follow up with mayday relay mayday relay mayday relay now that is a recent change you used to be able to send an urgency uh, alert via the radio that is now no longer used it is purely by voice mayday relay so and that is the latest change that came out from the rya back in uh, the uh, well in, in, in mid-September 2019 so that's the latest one that we've got so these guys follow up with Mayday Relay and think about this chap here after five minutes he will also send a Mayday Relay so the Coast Guard could receive multiple Mayday Relays which would be expected in this circumstance if that makes sense okay so hopefully that is all quite clear for everybody right so